So here's example six. And now I'm gonna say, what about if we now take, so we had that uh, 10 plus six multiplied by 100 plus 40 plus seven. What if this is actually x plus six multiplied by x squared plus four x plus seven? Well, I'm just going to distribute everything in again. I'm gonna distribute x times x squared, x times four x, x times seven, and then I'll distribute six times x squared, six times four x, and six times seven. And so I'm gonna get, get then, and I'll actually write this using the colors properly this time, uh, x cubed plus four x squared plus seven x plus, uh, then I've got six x squared, and then I've got six plus uh, 24 X here, 24 X, and then plus 42, okay? And then if I just add all these up, I just add them up in columns. They're all now grouped in like terms. So I've got X cubed plus 10 X squared plus 31 X plus 42. Okay, so remember when you're adding, we don't change the exponents. The exponents only change when you're multiplying or dividing. Um, when you're adding, you just add the coefficients and the x itself just stays the same. Okay, the exponent doesn't change here. And that would be the final answer of this, uh, this distributive uh, problem right here. All right, let's take a look at a few more examples. Uh, what if we're going to do here, so this is number seven. What if we do 3x plus 6 multiplied by x squared plus 4x plus 7? So uh, you, can, you can draw the, um, the arcs in if you like. Um, you don't have to. Sometimes it kind of keeps, helps you keep things straight. And so anyway, so here we've got uh, 3x cubed 3x times 4x is 12x squared, and 3x times 7 is 21x. And then uh, 6 times x squared, we get uh, plus 6x squared, plus 24x, and then plus 42. And we simplify all that, and we get 3x cubed plus 18x squared plus 45x plus 42. Okay, so that's how these things are done. Um, I'm going to um, give you a few extra ones. Maybe we'll do uh, one more, maybe with a, a negative, uh, just to, uh, and then I'll ask you to do a few of your own, and I'll show you the solution after we're finished. So uh, let's say we got 2x minus 6 multiplied. And notice I'm keeping one part of this consistent just to kind of keep things a little bit uh, uh, easier for you. So we're gonna distribute the two X into the second bracket. Then we're gonna distribute in this negative six. So remember it's a, it's a subtraction sign when it's in combination or in an expression, but taken in isolation, that uh, dash is actually now a, a negative sign with that six. So I'm gonna multiply this out. So I'm gonna multiply two X times X squared. So I get two X cubed. Two X times four X gives me eight X squared. Two X times seven is 14 X. Okay, then negative six times X squared is negative six X squared. Negative six times four X is negative 24 X. And negative six times seven is negative 42. And then I'm just gonna add up all the like terms and columns here. So we've got two X cubed plus two X squared. Okay, because it's eight minus six. And then 14 minus 24 gives us negative 10 X and then negative 42. And because none of these are like terms, we just have to leave it as it is there. All right, um, I'm gonna give you three to do. 
and then um, let's see what we can what we come up with here. So question nine is four x plus five. Uh, x squared minus 4x plus 7. Okay, so I'm changing things up a little bit. Question 10 is 3x plus 10, or sorry, plus 2, multiplied by 5x squared plus 3x minus 9. And question 11 is 5x squared plus 7x multiplied by 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so uh, pause the video, please, and then uh, go through these, uh, see what you can come up with, and then I'll show you the answer uh, when you've finished. Okay, so let's hope you've had a chance to kind of take a look at those. So I'm going to distribute in the 4x plus 5 into the x squared minus 4x plus 7. So that gives me 4x cubed, and then minus 16x squared, and then plus 28x. And then I multiply the expand in the, the five, so I've got plus 5x squared, minus 20x, uh, plus 35. Again, I'm going to add in columns, because they're all grouped in like terms now. So you get 4x cubed, minus 11x squared, plus 8x, plus 35. Question 10, we got 15x cubed, plus 9x squared, minus 27x, and then plus 10x squared, now multiplying the 2 into the second bracket, plus 6x, minus 18. And then add them in grouping in the uh, the columns of their like terms. So you get 15x cubed plus 19x squared minus 21x minus 18. And then for question 11, again distributing through, we've got 10x to the power 4 plus 20x cubed plus 15x squared. Then I multiply in here, so I've got plus 14x cubed uh, plus 28x squared plus 21x. And I simplify again, so you've got 10x to the power of 4 plus 34x cubed uh, plus 43x squared plus 21x. Okay, so that's the basics of uh, the distributive property. Um, and if you just follow the rules in each time of, of uh, multiplying exponents and multiplying coefficients, uh, you can't go wrong. Um, so if in the, in the near future, you're um, given a question like this, x plus three multiplied by x minus one, now that you've done these more complicated distributed properties, this one should be a piece of cake. X times X is X squared. X times one is negative X. Uh, three times X is three X. And then three times negative one is negative three. And then we just collect like terms. Well, they're already collected here. So we get X squared plus two X minus three. Okay, so that's basically how the distributive property works. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.